Hello! My name is Shopaf, but you can call me Cake, and welcome to the next session of me trying to get competent at Door Fortress. And this is the very first thing I saw as soon as I loaded the game. Some animals starving. But the problem here is, I have assigned them to this area, and it does have, well, grazing stuff. So I need to actually check whether that is being done. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, we have a sow, cow, yak, calf, and stuff like that. So let's see where those animals are. Pets, livestock. Yeah, let's go to unit. They're still sitting in the dining room for some reason. Nobody's removing them from there. We cannot force the dwarves to move them. So I guess we just need to wait for them to actually do it. Oh, I randomly clicked on a poet listening to a story being told by someone else. But yes, so there are a few things that I wanted to address today. And one, going straight away, is to read the statue. And okay, so oh, so the statue does not have a description, I guess? Uh, it's unfortunate that we don't have a description of the statue because it's meant to portray this dwarf. So unless there is a way to read the description of it, I'm not sure. But there is a different way to also memorize the dwarf, and that's apparently to carve slabs that can then be engraved by a mason, well, engraved by an engraver, to give details of the dead dwarf's, well, life and final moments, I suppose. But basically it memorizes them and it can be used in lieu of a coffin if we cannot retrieve a body. So we might have to use that for a few of the dwarves anyway. But I wanted to try it, because if the statue doesn't say anything, they wanted to try it for this dwarf anyway. Yeah, you know, just as an experiment. And possibly if we can't bury one, one of the dwarves, then do it for them instead of a grave. So I will just do one slab, but yeah, slab. And then it needs to be engraved in a, a crafted dwarf's workshop, but it needs to be constructed first. And since the masons don't have... Anything else to do? Let me check. Yes, they have constructed all the coffins, so checking means that they're checking for the condition. Yes, I'm not satisfied. Do they do anything else? No, the masons don't have anything else to do. So I might start requesting slabs, but I will leave them for now. Just, I guess, for now, because if the masons don't have anything better to do, then I might as well go to Dwarf Therapist and see if I can assign them some additional jobs, like, um, say, smoothing. So let's quickly do that. Those two already were smoothing, this one wasn't smoothing, and this is a minor. Okay, so let's ignore them for the moment, because, yeah, if they already have jobs they can be doing, that's perfectly fine. And those are worthwhile jobs, because um, once they start smoothing, then they can start engraving as well. And the better the engraver, the more valuable the rooms. So um, that is an actual benefit of the fortress. The next thing on the list. Yeah, I mentioned the clothing issue with it piling up in the stockpiles. Yeah, like you can see, all of the stuff, all of the individual clothes. So there is a way to deal with this. And basically, the first thing I need to do is make sure that... Ah, yes, see? There, there we go. Yeah, so this is getting loaded up with some of the tattered clothes. I need to prevent that. And the way to prevent this from happening here is to... Oh, wait, it already takes from the clothier's shop. Oh, but yeah, oh, the way to prevent that is to take from links only. There we go. So now they will start loading everything into bins. And do we already have maximum bins? Yeah, we have maximum bins already. So they will start loading it into bins. And we need to deal with the stuff that's already there. So things like this, things like this and things like this. So the way to do that is first I need to set up a dumping pile. I will use this space because apparently the rotting clothes still have like three quarters to half of the value so we can actually trade them. But to trade them we first need to isolate them and to isolate them I need to do some dumping. This will be a garbage dump and the thing is because nobody will bring anything to a garbage dump automatically it's not like a stockpile this is only for things we dump manually. So now, if we go down to this stockpile, and unfortunately I'll need to go through it one by one, but basically I need to dump all of these. There we go. Go manually for every single one and designate them for dumping. But once we do, they will be separated from the good clothes. All the good clothes will go in the stockpile upstairs. And I'll actually, I'll remove all clothes from here. I guess they will just have to stay in this stockpile for the moment until doors pick them up, but they will pick them up because as uh, clothes wear out, they just yeah, go and get new ones. But that will be in just a momentary intermediate problem, and yeah, as soon as that's done, everything should be back on track. And I believe that's all of the bad ones. Oh, and I think there might be bins of them as well, because of course there would be. 
I can dump the whole bin and all of its contents if I go to dump items here. And I believe, yeah, that, that, that should dump everything. All the contents, including the bin. And then I can undump the bin. So if we go into the... Hmm, I thought that would dump it. Because if it's just the bin that's being dumped, like the bin will be moved to the dump, but not emptied. And I want to get some of the stuff out from the bin. Yeah, the clothier... Oh, the clothier shop is not made yet. That's why it's probably taking from everywhere as well. And there's some clothes somewhere else as well. I believe there's actually some here. I think there's this wooden... Yeah, there we go. So we'll need to get rid of those, but that will come in time. So when they start dumping all the used clothes here, basically we'll just wait for that. And then we will designate a stockpile that takes clothes from everywhere. And then, because uh, there is a bug that prevents clothes from being put into bins properly. That, it's a well-known bug, apparently. I'm not sure if it has been resolved, but uh, the last thing I read about sorting clothes included it. But basically, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong, we'll make a stockpile, clothes stockpile underneath the dump once it's done, as in we'll undump all the, all the items in it, and then have them transferred into the new stockpile as well. And maybe I'll make it a quantum stockpile even, or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll do something like that. But I will give this a moment to resolve itself. Well, not a moment, it'll probably take the rest of the episode or two before they actually start moving the clothes. But that should resolve the issue. And yeah, like I said, this now will be just set for clothes. And it's now linked to the clothier shop. And it will take only from links. So it should stop having any problems. And I think I'll just delete the give to stockpile because um, I don't want the clothes to go to here anymore. And actually I'll do what I said where I'll remove all the clothes so so we don't want any footwear, handwear, headwear. Backpacks can stay here I suppose. And no legwear, there we go. So all of that should now go to the clothes stockpile. Well, everything made of cloth anyway. And anything made out of metal well, we'll have a separate stockpile for that when we actually start forging. Because at the moment we are not forging, so there's no point in making a stockpile for that. Second thing that I need to really do is to actually make more rooms. Because right now we have 61 dwarfs. And if we go to the bedrooms, yeah, we have 50 rooms. So we need 12... Yeah, well, let's do it in multiples of 8, so let's do 16 more rooms. I believe I can start digging from here anyway, because... Yeah, if we hit more of the dump wall, then we'll just be it, but uh, let's make it priority one so they just start digging immediately. And I'll need to see what was the deal with them not not digging any more of the tree farm, because that's a bit concerning and annoying, but uh, yeah, there we go. So that's going to be four rooms. Yeah, that, so 12 rooms, there we go. <laughs> Unintentionally, instead of 16. And make another corridor here, and then dig out these. And actually, did I want it like that? No, because I can get more rooms. Okay, cancel this. One room, an entrance, and then the corridor is here. There we go. Okay. Because then I can make it double-sided. Because if I started digging the corridor right behind these rooms, then I could only make one row of rooms, and then would have to make another corridor, and that's just space inefficient. So they can dig that out. What are they doing, actually? So, oh, they're actually digging channel, and dig. Oh, they, they are digging here. So while they're doing that, let's make more beds. I'll do exactly 12. So the carpenters will have something to do as well. How many cabinets do we have? Let's just go the stockpile. Oh, we have a few chests. It's not quite 12, but there we go. And I guess no cabinets. Okay, so we run out of cabinets. So I'll make 12 cabinets straight away. Priority one, because that's for the masons, not for the carpenters. Yeah, then we need to make more chests, but how many? I'll, I'll keep some spare, I guess. Yeah, so six more chests. Oh, it's a coffer. Yeah, it's not a chest. If it's a rock, it's a coffer. Okay, petitions available. No, I still don't want to invite us and let them stay in the bards because, um, yeah, they will just keep using up our stuff. So all the stuff is getting built. The only problem is that yeah, we still won't have any rock nuts to crush, so we still won't have any soap to make. Oh, the soap maker's workshop not made yet. The wood furnace is not made yet. Okay, so this these are made. Yeah, actually, okay, I'll leave the stockpiles for now alone, because uh, I'm not, actually, I'm not sure what it's called. Once the rock nuts are squashed, I'm not sure what they're called exactly, so I'll leave that alone for the moment. I, I'm glad to see that the, the whole area is getting smoothed. That means that the um, guild hole, quote-unquote, for the farmers will be all made nice. 
So yeah, it's already at 1000, so a bit more smoothing and it's going to be a nice guild hall. And the one advice that I have read online when it comes to the clothes industry is to just literally keep making clothes. Because the better clothes you have, the better quality of them. The happier the dwarves are, although they're pretty happy for just having clothes, as in they're not getting negative thoughts, they're getting positive thoughts. But they're also then very valuable to sell as well. So now that we have all these workshops ready, I will set up some... Oh, not collect webs. Actually, yeah. First of all, I'll go to the standing orders and... Where's the web collecting? Workshop orders. Yeah, I don't want auto loom. Auto collect webs, no. But we can auto slaughter, auto butcher, auto fisher, auto kitchen. I'll have to look up what auto kitchen does. Let me just quickly write it down. So no auto collect webs at this very moment. If we catch any spiders or anything like that, we can do that. But uh, the problem is that there's a forgotten beast down there. So that will take a bit of serious planning. So I will not do that without a whole squad of armed dwarves. And uh, may maybe some spur miners, so, in case so I can just b literally just block them off. Like, uh, yeah, build a bridge, order them to dig, and lock the bridge behind them. And then they can dig that out and make, like, a, what's it called? Like an airlock or something like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out, but I'm not doing that without an army of dwarves. Okay, uh, what was I thinking about beforehand? Ah, uh, yeah, make the actual orders now. So, I want to have some thread left, and I want to have some cloth left. So that um, if we have fey moods, or the hospital needs restocking or something like that, we can always have a spare stash. So it will have restrictions, but actually let me check. In the hospital, how much do they actually need? I also read, like, it's in thousands, but every thread and every one cloth item counts as one. So they have 15 thread here and 10 cloth here. So that's what they generally need, but they have a whole stash, they're filled up. Yeah, as a rule of thumb, I'll just leave a hospital's worth of thread and a hospital's worth of cloth, and they can just deal with it from there. So if we now go to orders, and oh, this will take a while because I need to set up literally all of the clothes. And first of all, make cloth from thread, and I guess yarn into cloth as well. Yeah, I think I'll set up all of this because eventually we'll have sheep and the farmer's workshop can do all of them because I'm, I'm absolutely sure that they will run out of either plant to process or sheep to shear at alternating times somehow. Yeah, let's do 10. So yeah, they don't, they're not like stuck in an order or something like that. And conditions, reagent conditions, unused collected plant thread is at least 10. Yeah, that is what I want. Cloth. Yeah, I need to decide which clothes to make. I think we'll have shirts, trousers. Actually, no. Uh, what I will do is make sets. So make one, then make one trousers. <laughs> one trousers. Make... Gloves, one. Hood, one. Sock, one. Shoe, one. And now, what I will do with them is give them conditions. So, reagents, unused plant cloth, then. And this one won't have any other conditions, but this will have an order condition. We'll make this after the shirt. Here, yes, cloth, and we'll make it after trousers. Then hood, we will make it after the gloves, and so on and so forth. Why it doesn't have wool? Wool and wooden. Okay, let me check because why wouldn't have that? Oh, it's yarn, not wool. Okay. Yarn shirt. Although, maybe... Yeah, okay. We can make a different set of stuff. So, let's make a robe. We haven't made a cloak or a coat. Okay, I'll add those as well afterwards. So, I'll make a woolen coat, but I'll add a cloth cloak. And I'll put this up. Condition and order for cloth shoe. There we go. Okay, so, so yeah, we have a robe, we have a coat. Now, all trousers are trousers, I guess. So I'll make trousers anyway. Or if there's a difference, I will just have more trousers. I don't, I don't mind. Oh, we made gloves, so let's make mittens. Make a cap, because we made a hood. And obviously shoes and socks. Apparently dwarves are obsessed with collecting socks, so you can never have enough socks in the fort. Okay, and now I'll just connect all of those with an order chain. That should be a relatively healthy, then, clothes industry. I hope, anyway. And, uh, yeah, because then we can have, like, le legendary clothiers and really fancy clothes and stuff like that, so... And an abundance of them, first of all, because, yeah, to reiterate, dwarves that have tatty clothes are really unhappy about it. So it is really important to have proper clothes. Nobody made this lever yet. I mean, again, it's not important yet because I want to connect this lever to this bridge once it's built. And actually, 
Oh, you know what? Yeah, I was actually thinking about the problem with the uh, falling water and how it might be impacting the frame rates because it's constantly fuming here. So basically, yeah, when the water freezes, I'll dig this out, build a bridge, and then smooth this out and carve out a second fortification. So we have basically two sets of water just streaming down here. And then I guess I'll either close this off or leave... Yeah, I'll see how it works because uh, I don't think this grate is doing anything here anyway. So we can just leave the one grate and put a floor here. But basically, I want to fill it up all to level 7. So instead of falling water, just creating mist and just being recalculated and whatnot. Just, yes, maybe somehow we'll improve the frame rates, we'll stop impacting the game so much. But uh, we will see. Let me just quickly check as well. The Atom Smasher, did I actually fix it? What's underneath it? Cave Silk Spider Web. I guess we do have some spiders around. Let's see how many webs there are that could be collected. Or was it just literally the one? Oh, well, never mind, because I think most cats catch the spiders. Yeah, there's like two webs to collect. Oh, but the one thing that I still need to fix is I need to remove this door. And actually, let's go to stone. Gaboro. Okay, Gaboro is magma safe. Because I was literally just thinking now, I said that I wanted to make this like a mixed healing chamber where it will have a dual magma and water input. And now the problem would be that I can't put magma in something that isn't magma safe. So I will remove this door. I will put another drawbridge here, like this one is going to get built at some point. Then I will have another one here. So what lever should I... because yeah, I'll keep this open. Okay, we'll figure it out once everything's built, because they need to remove this building before I even place a bridge in the first place. So yeah, that's, that's going to be done. But as you can see now, we already have the corridor ready here, so it can snake about. The walls will stop the magma. Uh, so yeah, I can either kill them with magma, I can kill them with water, or pour them magma and then encase them in obsidian if they're, say, magma resistant or something like that. But I think most things that are magma resistant would also drown. Yeah, th there's weird things in the game, so just in case that wouldn't work out like that, I'll just have both options available for me. Yeah, there's all the dogs. Yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to do. So if we go to animals, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have more dogs. Stray dog, stray dog, stray dog. There we go. I want to train all the stray dogs. Now I'll do it to the same principle that I was doing before, where male dogs become war dogs and the female dogs become hunting dogs. This one has a name. I mean, it's going to be a war dog as well, but I want to see if maybe it has a description of what it did to earn a name. It doesn't have a kill list or anything like that, I guess. I'll, I'll just look it up. Did I dig... yeah, I dug this out wrong. Okay, that's, let's just dig out a bedroom here instead then. I didn't notice I was literally digging out the same wall as the bedroom is meant to have. Because, I mean, obviously I couldn't have put it more to the side because it would have flooded the place, but uh, mistake regardless. Oh well, it's fine. They're still not using the uh, quantum stockpile. Yeah, there's plenty of more wood, it just needs holding. Okay, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, yeah, they're making the robes already. Yeah, make cloth shirt, make cloth trousers. That's active. Are they weaving any yarn in the cloth? Oh, do I not have a automatic workshop thing? Let's see. A standing order, workshop orders. No, there's no automatic. Let's go to the manager and make a work order for the farmer's workshop as well. Process plants. There we go. This process plant creates thread. This one creates extracts, I believe. This one, I think, creates dyes. And this one creates something else. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, they're all four different things that you can get from the same plants sometimes. Yeah, just then. There we go. Just keep doing it. And they can keep cancelling the orders if they run out, I don't mind. And, oh, but uh, not one-time order. We want this to be restarts if completed. There we go. And that should be enough. Because uh, they, they are flashing with the cup. I want to see if they have a cup in their inventory. Uh, oh, they have a coating of their own tears. But yeah, they have a granite, granite mug. Now they can drink with mugs and I think that gives them happy thoughts as well. Do any other dwarves have mugs? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they still need to do 50 mugs, they have 10. But yeah, I'm happy that the miners actually are working, because yeah, we have so many issues with uh, the AI. Where are they going? Dig channel? Dig channel, yeah, there we go, so they're doing the tree farm as well. Let's see if they dumped the clothes already. I guess they are dumping some clothes. Oh, there's butt remains and stuff like that as well. That doesn't matter. I want to claim that, because that wasn't meant to go there. Bolts. Oh, I need to disable bolts from here, because I guess that's why they're not taking them to the quantum stockpile. Yeah, I can't access the stockpiles here, so I guess the water deletes them. I was thinking of just making a second 
area for smelting, but uh, I'm not sure if it's worth it right now if everything's flooded here. I would need to make a new minecart truck or something like that. Yeah, that's something to think about, but yeah, I would need to dig up something upstairs. And yeah, that's, there's already stuff upstairs and I wanted to make the magma piping, that's why I left a whole area here. No, okay, I, I'll, yeah, first we'll deal with the water problem and then we'll get back to smelting because otherwise it'll just be doing random things and then just patching it up and then we'll have the area empty anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this for now. So let's quickly see. Oh yeah, it is slated for removal, but nobody's removing it because I guess the masons are... Okay, the, I guess in that case I was wrong to get the masons to start doing smoothing. Let's unassign them from that because yeah, they, they need to start doing masonry. And yeah, they're detailing a floor instead of doing anything else. So quite frankly, you know what? Let them detail the floor. If and when we get another miner, I'll just re-enable this guy as a mason. Yeah, we just need to wait for this. There's just a whole lot of waiting for dwarves to actually get around doing stuff. And now there's miasma for some reason. Why haven't they still removed these? Yeah, th there's a whole refuse stockpile for bodies. Like, yeah, let me just check again. Yeah, there's corpses. And there's corpses here as well. One is... I believe these corpses are non-sentient. So, yeah, dogs, cats, yaks and whatnot. I believe this, these corpses are sentient. So, dwarfs, humans, goblins and whatnot. But both are enabled here. Let's go down here. Both are enabled here. And is the holding not working? Let's check. Corpses and corpses. Yeah, everything that should be enabled is enabled. So, I'm not sure why they're not doing that. And... So I don't want to do a second dump zone right now as we're dealing with the clothes so that they just kept getting dumped there. Because otherwise I would just have this little dump here and do that. You know what? Okay, I will do that. Like, these are already forbidden, so that's fine. I can remove the dump designation from here. Go downstairs, make a dump here, and just manually dump all of this stuff. There has to be a corpse here somewhere, but it's difficult to see. Oh yeah, someone's partial skeleton. Again, let me check if all of the... Coffins are already occupied. Yeah, there's still some free. So I obviously need to dig more. Yeah, I'll change the priority to free as well. No, none of it, this is forbidden, but none of it is being removed either. So yeah, dump. Yeah, there's so many skeletons still here. More mangled skeletons. Yeah, I don't believe I... Yeah, dwarves gather bodies, yeah. So they should be doing that. Dwarves gather refuse. They ignore refuse from outside, that's fine. Save corpses, save skulls, yeah. It should be fine. I'm not sure. We'll see. What's this in the wall? Oh, that's yeah, that's a door open. Why is it open? By a stray puppy and a turkey skeleton. Uh, by the way, how many hens do we have left and stuff like that? Yeah, we have these hens, ducks, goose, turkey hens. So we have a turkey gobbler. We don't have a gander. Yeah, so we have we can have more turkeys, but we, yeah, we don't have a gander. That's not good because we have so many more hens. But I guess they all started dying for one reason or another. Well, we do have a rooster, but for some reason I couldn't see him on the unit list. Because one thing we could do is technically start breeding the chickens, because um, if we lock a hen and a rooster in a room and give them nest boxes, they can just start reproducing, because then they will have fertilized eggs. But because we only have two of those... Yeah, I might make a small breeding room, actually. Because yeah, you need just a small room, put a nest box in, put the animals in, and then forbid the door. And then the, they can start hatching. And I don't believe chickens even need any food. Like, they're weird like that. Yeah, okay, that is an interesting idea. And I might just do that then. Dig out this. And dig out a little 2 by 2 room. And yeah, then I'll put the door here. And as soon as the hen and the rooster are in it, I'll forbid it. And then hopefully we'll have a whole load of them. Hey, anyway, see? The drinks, we were losing them because they were getting cooked. None of the drinks are getting cooked. The drinks are for drinking. Yeah, look how many eggs we have. <laughs> so yeah, we, we will have food for days. No danger there, even if we go under another siege. So I believe we can do some more bedrooms now. I want all of them to be fully furnished. Oh, we need doors as well. Okay. I just realized. Has the slab been done? Yes. So now I'll request it being engraved. Engraved memorial slab. There we go. And we want... Oh, so... Oh, it actually says whether they're a ghost or not. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, oh God. so many entombed dwarfs. But uh, yeah, I want to do the minor. And that was... Oh, Atir Nefek Moral. There we go. And a grave memorial to Atik Nefek Moral. Because I want to memorialize that dwarf properly. If I, say, share the save, I want people to come over and be able to see that dwarf. 
Because the stockpile still have wheelbarrows. Yeah, it still has wheelbarrows. Oh, there we go. Some Okay, so someone finally used the quantum stockpile. I guess they're just being used faster than they can be provided here. Stray hunting dog has been found dead. Where? Oh, so the hunter's hunting something. Uh, let's check the reports. Ground is fighting. Kangaroo back is fighting. War dog is fighting. Hunting dog is fighting. So let's see the hunting dog view report. Okay, I think the dog might have been killed by a kangaroo. If you want to, pause this later and just read the whole report because, yeah, the kangaroo absolutely savaged the dog. Yeah, a spattering of dog blood. Stray hunting dog tooth. How is the hunter doing? Yeah, there we go. Return kill. So what do they have? That's a groundhog. That's not a kangaroo. I guess that was earlier or it's not the same hunting dog. I'm not sure. We'll see, I guess. Uh, well, we won't because I can't check it and it's probably not worth the effort either. Okay, let's see if they're actually still digging here. Yeah, there we go. They're still digging. And yeah, I believe everything is safe now. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I designated the things that were above as a higher priority. And later, yeah, some trees will start to grow because it's now three levels tall. This will be the tree farm and it can also be the grazing area. Yeah, I'll just designate this quickly as a gathering area as well. Is anybody doing fish? There's plenty of raw fish, but... Oh, so nobody's doing the... Okay, so I need to set up a standing order to prepare raw fish. Wait, shouldn't that have already been standing order? Workshops. It should already be a standing order to prepare raw fish. Same with um, auto butchering. Like, a... yeah, butcher an animal because a hunter is coming back with the kill. So this automatically enables itself. Oh, this one has... Oh, so only one has that. And, but we have three workshops. So they're not getting utilized properly. Da okay, I see the problem. So yeah, let's make prepare raw fish. We'll say 10 if there's 10 unrotten raw fish. There we go. That that should be this. Okay, now. So we have two forgotten beasts in the catacombs now. Okay, let's see where it is. Yes, here. Okay. So is there any access whatsoever? Because we have walled all sorts of... I mean, if there's no water leaking, then there shouldn't be. So yeah, there's only water escaping here, but that doesn't have access to the caverns. Yeah, it, it's ev scary every time, but uh, yeah, fortunately, we're completely separated. Yeah, the only cavern breach was here, and I have walled it off already, so nothing can get through here. So we have two forgotten beasts in the caverns. Uh, why? We already had one. We had the hairy wasp or whatever, and now we have a spitting turtle. So can't have nice things. Oh, I can build the bridge here now. It will raise to the left, and yeah, I'll figure out how to connect the levers afterwards. Dangerous terrain. Oh, they're, so they're still trying to go here, okay. Uh, should I restrict this whole area? Yeah, I'll just restrict this whole area for movement. This whole area. There we go. Now they just won't go there at all. Unless they'll just keep spamming um, access blocked or something like that. So what are these bins then? Oh, they're more cloth bins, okay. Okay, so they, they need to move the cloth bins as well. Are they moving? But oh, they're moving individual pieces of cloth. Yeah, alpaca wool cloth one by one instead of moving the whole bin. Okay. <laughs> Did they disallow bins there or something? No, they can have they can hold the whole bin straight to the stockpile. What well, was the rotting meat here or something? So it came from the butcher's shop. Oh, there are mutilated corpses here. Again, why aren't they removing these corpses? I, I okay, I will need to look this up because we have a stockpile for them and they're just not being moved for some reason. So all of these should have been butchered but weren't. Like is he that badly hurt? Yeah, yeah, so has a busted leg and that's why they can't move. So I guess a kangaroo did mess them up. But yeah, that, that is annoying that yeah, there were plenty of rotten corpses because nobody was actually doing this. Is this a doctor? Oh yeah, it's a surgeon. If I remember correctly, if we go down to the hospital, I believe we can appoint like a surgeon general, someone who is in charge of it. How do I do Or is it a noble? No, that's... It's something else, I'm not sure. Wait, requirement. What? Why do they have a... Decent office. Oh, they're a mayor now, so they need a decent office. That's annoying. And a dining room. Okay, let's see where we can dig them stuff. Is all of this still damp? This isn't damp, but this is. Oh, because there's some water here. Okay, I'll dig a bit here and see if I can make them a room somewhere here. Before I discovered damp rock and everything kind of went to hell. I wanted to dig this way to start making yeah, nobles quarters and stuff like that. So yeah, large offices, large bedrooms and dining rooms and stuff like that. Yeah, let's just start digging like with priority three, I guess it doesn't need to be done immediately. Even priority four. Like they, they can just wait. I don't care for nobles. And we'll see if this all kind of goes wrong. Three by three room for an office, door, dining room, and 
a bedroom, I guess. That will be for the mare. It will be pretty good as well after it's engraved and whatnot. Yeah, finally dwarves are dumping something. Like I think it's all the clothes. Why is there a kangaroo skeleton there? There shouldn't have been any kangaroos there. What's this? Um, description. Giant cheetah parchment scroll. Yeah, so there are some scrolls strewn about as well. I guess yeah, we will need to make a library. Yeah, just um, yeah, we need to get past all the holding issues. And I have dwarves that are meant to be anything but holding, like um, the peasants and something like that. They don't have jobs, they just have holding. So are they doing anything? Yeah, store items, stockpile, construct building. I guess they're just slow. It'll all have to get cleaned up eventually, that's all. But it doesn't mean that uh, I have to like it. So that's a whole load of stuff that they can't seem to get to. This can be a low traffic area. Just this bit around here, literally. Until the water comes back in the fountain, anyway. But it's restricted and they're still walking there. Which also, like, they shouldn't be doing that. It should be completely restricted. There's no reason they should go there. Oh well. So what are the miners doing then? Oh, they're still digging channel, okay. I'm, I'm glad they're doing this, but uh, everything else is taking so slow because nobody else is doing anything. Take from links only. And there was a new piece of worn out clothing. Wait, take finished good stockpile. What? No, delete that. That's why it was taking from the finished good stockpile. <laughs> no, it takes only from the clothing shop. Yeah, they have some pigtail thread. Like, how much are we actually making? So I guess we don't have that many pigtail plants. But again, yeah, I guess we just started growing them, so... Yeah, they haven't been harvested yet, so we will have a proper harvest of them. But, yeah, okay. Because not much is happening right now anyway, it's just mostly a waiting game. And it is time for me to finish. I will leave you here. So, I will wish you a good day, bid you a farewell, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.